Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm on my next Defend Marimbra and it's coffee or, oh sorry, coffee and a button card, number five. So, we have the, the book out that I'm doing these ephemera pieces for. Um, it's coming along nicely. So we'll just leave that aside just now and we'll get on with this. So, coffee. I have a coffee filter here, a used one, which is obviously all coffee stained. And um, yeah, we'll decorate that up and then we'll make a tag. So I hunted through all my button stamps because I wanted this, it's going to be a pocket and I wanted it to match the button card that's going to be going on the inside. So I got this button stamp out. This is by 49 and Market and it's called Gabby's Grunge Texture Set. And you get this nice lined stamp, you get a little ruler stamp and you get the buttons. So I'm going to stamp them with my Distress Ink Gathered Twigs because I thought that was a nice brown colour to match and tone in with the coffee coloured pocket. I wouldn't normally use this to stamp but I'm go I want it to be quite kind of uh, shabby. <laughs> And I'm going to use some water just to pull the colour. I'm just going to cover the whole thing. Or try and cover as much of it as I can. Let me just use this in behind. Fine. And a little corner here. It's really just adding some texture to the to the whole design. And there. So that'll do that for now. And let's get the water and pull out some. Oh, here's my water here. Pull out some of the colour on to the button just quickly just kind of smoosh it it'll end up a little bit darker we just don't even need to go over where the thing is just it'll dry in hopefully quite nicely You can still see that they're buttons, even although we've made them all kind of um, grungy looking. We've kind of, the water does away with the outlines a little bit. And we'll just set it aside to dry while we do the other part of this. Yep, that will dry. Just open it up, set it up there, and we'll need the water again because we're going to do some more stamping. And I'm going to use this stamp, the Holly stamp, from, let me show you which set it's from. It's a Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz, and it's Christmas Blueprint. Blue Print 4, CMS 201 is the name of the stamp set there. And this is from this mixed media and it does watercolour. So we're good to stamp here. And I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black to stamp. And I'm just really concerned about stamping the holly rather than all the little blueprint bits round about because I'm going to fussy cut the holly and stamp it up here where there's a clean bit. It managed to get dirty from just going from there to there. <laughs> so 
I'll just let that soak in and we're going to colour using some distress markers. I've got fired brick for the berries and forest moss and peeled paint for the leaves. Excellent. And I'm just going to colour in this bit here and I'm just going to use this little acrylic ball block for my palette and just scribble some colour down on that and then we'll use our paintbrush just to pick up the colour and smoosh it on <laughs> smoosh, that's a good word smoosh There we are, and then maybe just a little bit of darker. We'll just do where the cross hatches are because it's already told you where the shading should be, so that's quite good. And then we'll do the berries. Let me just, and then we might need to darken that those leaves again. Oh, that was a squeaky one. Just clean our brush. That was a little bit too watery. I think we can probably just go directly to the berries. There we are. And I think we might do the same with this. Just give it a little darker, darker boost in that shading. That's fine. I think this is going to take a little bit longer to dry than what I had hoped. But anyway. Right, let's done with that and we're done with the water. And all we need to do is quickly go around the edges. And I'm going to just sit this on the corner of the filter once I've, I'm not sure whether I want to stitch round to make it a pocket or just glue it. I do think stitching adds a little bit but obviously if you don't have a machine you can just glue the pocket closed. Oh, can you hear that drilling? That's next door neighbours getting a new bathroom put in. She's hoping that they finish in plenty of time for Christmas. They should do. A new bathroom shouldn't take that long, should it? <laughs> oh dear. So once that's dry, I thought we could maybe not sure that I like the brown buttons but anyway it's done now um, I'm going to stamp out buttons on this seems a bit random but hey ho <laughs> sometimes these are hard to get out So 
So our Christmas shopping's nearly done. We were at the shops yesterday afternoon after work. Got a few bits and bobs. Whoops, oh, first before the end. That was nearly a whoopsie. That would be my daily whoopsie on the camera. <laughs> and yes, I do love these stamps. I can see that this cap, this paper is shiny and it's going to take a little while to dry, so we'll just need to be careful with that. And I thought that could go somewhere. Oh, I'm not going to touch it the now. Right, that's that bit ready. All the bits are good to go once that's dry. Let's move on to the tag. So I've got my pieces for my tag here. And this tag is from um, Hubby's shirt. A check shirt that he got in the sale, £48 reduced to 22 So he was quite pleased at that because it was quite a posh shirt. You can tell the way the label's done, it was quite posh. <laughs> and this is the tag that I'm going to use. I've had this tag pad for absolutely years and years and years. It's ancient. I'm going to decorate this side of it with a bit of collage. Yeah, so let's see what we can do. Let's put that there. Let me get my my gummy book. Okay, that's all dry in there. That's there and I don't like being in a guddle. There we are. I'm just going to go over the, the edges and then I'll just trim around it at the end. Let's get a little bit of music paper on it. I don't know where this thread stuff's coming from. There's threads. <laughs> oh dear. What else have we got? Noise that drill. Cool, I'll add a little bit of washi, I think, along that edge. a straight edge maybe no right yes let's do a little bit a little bit of washi we'll cut round it first so that we can see where the edges are. And it's got a fancy top. 
Oh, I can cut round that. I think they must be cutting tiles with that noise. Good one like that. Just a little bit. Oh, that's finished, thank goodness. Yeah. Right, let's see a little bit of washi like that. Let's add just, it's not Christmassy, but it'll be fine. Just there's little, little bits of black. There, and a little bit here, I think. Yeah. Don't need a third bit. Right, I'm just going to get my pokey tool and just now. Right, now this is going to sit on top of that. Let's get rid of the bit of string that's already on it. Now do we want just that or do we want the two labels? I think it's better with both. I think we'll put both on. Holes big enough for what's it now? <laughs> and then we'll just put that through there. Chop it. <laughs> Chopped. Okay, so this, oh, it's quite dry. So that look okay in there. Right, I think I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's been sewn around. It's had a little double stitch, just a little plain stitch all round it. And um, yeah, ready to finish it off. So I'm going to put the holly in the corner there, I think. And we've got our button word, um, which I'm just going to tear off like that. And that piece of paper just so happens to have a little kind of coffee type stain on it already which is quite good maybe about there because this will be going inside there maybe that way round yeah okay so we'll get that stuck down I'm thinking maybe I'll need to sew this into my journal, stitch it in, because I'm not sure that the coffee, oops, coffee um, filter will stick all that well. I'm not sure how that would be.
Like, which way though? Towards it that way? Oh, but it's a big space that way. Let's just use this to push this down. Oops, <laughs> I thought that was dry. Oh well, that all adds to the shabby sheenness. There you go. That's the one oopsie for today on camera. <laughs> it's not too bad actually. I wonder if it would rub out. Oh, it does. There. <laughs> Getting wee threads from the place. Right, now, let's get the journal back and let's see where is it going to go. No, because it's behind that other tag there. Now, at the back, there's not much because I haven't done anything in this back one. So maybe it's time to put something in the back. I think there. Yes. Now those things glued on to that all right. I'm wondering if because if it, the glue doesn't hold it, I can always pull this page out and stitch it. So I think I'm going to try glue. Careful not, it's quite fragile actually, because the water's been on it again. No, don't stick to my book. and no more. <laughs> yes, I think that might hold actually. Mm -hmm. Again. Oh, and I've still this to put on. I could put that on the actual page. Just going to take that little bit off there. Do you think <laughs> it's a bit different isn't it that's the thing about prompts it makes you do different things um, but yeah I'm quite pleased with that they tuck in there nicely and it gives it a little bit of bulk because it is quite floppy and there's still plenty of room so yeah and it's still a bit Christmassy with the holly yes I'm quite pleased with that and that's a little bit of funny background and the tag. Yeah, why not? 
<laughs> right okay thanks for joining me today and if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and i'll see you next time <laughs> bye for now